the Biden administration will say, oh, the border is secure. No, no, it's not. One man that knows that for sure is Sheriff Mark Lamb. He is a sheriff in Pinal County, Arizona, has been since 2017, and now he's running for a U.S. Senate seat there in Arizona, looking to take the seat currently held by Senator Kirsten Sinema. Sheriff, good to have you back. Uh, thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me on today. I mean, you look at these numbers, Sheriff, these are unprecedented. The Democrats like to use that word a lot, but they use it in a reckless fashion. This truly is unprecedented. And you listen to Kirsten, uh, uh, Karine Jean-Pierre or uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, and they'll say, oh, the border's secure. It's absolute nonsense. Well, secure. Based on what? Exactly. I try not to listen to either one of those two because all they do is lie and, and gaslight the American people. The reality is, you're, you talked about it, 11,000 people yesterday. The border is the most unsecure it's been in a long time, if not ever. We're hitting numbers that we've never hit before. So I don't know how they can in good conscience uh, say that the border is secure. And not just it's not just that the border is not secure. Look at these videos of what's coming through. My biggest issue lately has been that these are military age men coming from a lot of different countries throughout the world, countries from where people do not love America or the American people. So that concerns me deeply. Well, you, you see a spike in disease as well. We're not vetting anybody, not for military age men, not for potential illness that they bring to our communities because they're being spread all over the country. Because from El Paso, where the Democrat mayor now has declared an emergency, to New York City, where Kathy Hochul is calling in the National Guard because they have too many illegals there, 100,000. I mean, compare that to the number of illegals living currently in Arizona or Texas or New Mexico or California for sure. They don't have any idea. And they keep saying, oh, it's fine. I mean, it's crushing places like the hospital in Yuma. I mean, they're losing $25 million a month. You can't sustain that, can you? Well, no, you can't stay and sustain it. And I bet you that number's gone up even more. And what we're seeing are numbers that are equal to the state of Arizona, basically, over the last two and a half years since this administration took over. Imagine that, six, seven million people that we know of. How many do we not know about that came into this country? You know, the Tucson sector, which is the sector that I'm in, leads the way every month. Um, we certainly lead the way in Godaways. So this is a problem. And most of that funnels through my county at some point. Even though I'm not on the border, we experience a tremendous amount of trafficking that comes through my county before it goes into Phoenix. And, you know, I go all over Arizona and I realize that Arizonans are tired of it. Americans are tired of it. New Yorkers all across this country. And uh, we've got to do something about it, which is uh, why I recognize we need a proven conservative fighter. And that's why I'm jumping in the U.S. Senate race here in Arizona. Right. Well, here's the thing. The, the population of Arizona is about 7.4, 7.5 million. That's what the Census Bureau counted. You look at where we are with the number of illegals that have come into this country just since Joe Biden took office 32 months ago. You're about equal with the entire population of the entire state of Arizona. In fact, if you reach 10 million, which is the projection through four years of Joe Biden, that's larger than the population of 40 states. 40 states don't have 10 million people in it, and we're letting these people in to go where? To be paid how? To get a job how? It, it, it's insanity to find we're committing suicide with an invasion, are we not? Absolutely. We're committing financial suicide. This is the greatest national security threat to America, not just the terrorists that we allow in or the people with bad intentions. We are allowing fentanyl to come in. We are seeing deaths of Americans, up to fentanyl poisonings of Americans above 100,000 a year. That alone should be alarming to the American people. I will tell you, they're destroying America uh, day by day with the amount of uh, people coming in here, the amount of drugs coming in here. And this administration doesn't seem to care one bit about it. Or, or, or they're supporting it, which is a possibility because you can't be this oblivious without having some support for what's happening. So let me shift gears real quick. i got a couple of minutes here with you still, Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff Mark Lamb here with me. Let's talk about Bidenomics. I think Bidenomics is the worst um, you know, PR campaign since Bud Light gave a guy a beer in a bathtub. That's what I believe. It's a terrible marketing plan. Bidenomics doesn't work for anybody. It doesn't work for folks in Arizona. It doesn't work for people in Michigan where I live or anywhere in between. It's a disaster. Well, you know, inflation's under control, really. Uh, cumulative prices are up almost 20%. Milk, eggs, gasoline, electric bill, whatever it is. People are getting crushed in this country, and we've got to stop just spending like, well, like idiots, frankly. 
Well, they are. They're spending like drunken sailors. They're giving more and more money to Ukraine, which I think the majority of Americans are very unhappy with. You know, if you don't have it, you can't give it because if you don't have it, that means you've got to go out and borrow it. And when you borrow it, there's interest rates that come with that. And those interest rates are passed on to us, the American people. We are the ones that are paying for this spending in Washington, D.C. And, and then you go over to, to uh, energy independence. We've lost that. We're, we're dependent on other countries now. And if you don't know, it takes energy to, to make it, to ship it, and to sell it. And when those uh, costs go up, they indefinitely pass those costs on to the consumer, which is why the average American, like myself, are feeling the crunch of this, of what we call Bidenomics. You know, there's one reason I'm glad they call it Bidenomics, because throughout history, it will prove to show it was horrible. And I'm glad that Biden's name will be attached to it. I agree with that. I got about 30 seconds left. Here's the most important single thing that I think people forget about, uh, and they shouldn't. Uh, in the in the midst of all of this, the most important reason that you need to be a United States senator is to defend the United States Supreme Court. Because if anybody leaves that court, we need more conservatives on that court. I'll give you 30 seconds for the last word. Not only do we need to defend the Supreme Court, we've got to defend freedom. This administration is systematically taking away American freedom every day. And we need a proven conservative fighter in Washington, D.C. that's going to stand up for the people and restore this country to its greatness of what it used to be. So please come support me at SheriffLandForSenate.com. We've got to take it back. It's we the people that need to take this country back. Sheriff Lamb for Senate.com. Nicely done, Sheriff. Always appreciate you being here. I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you, Steve. God bless you. There you have it. Sheriff Mark Lamb, Arizona. Good man and a, and a good American and a great hat. Hey, I can't, I can't beat the hat. I'll take a break and be right back.